Thank you, Kelly. Now to a developing story out of Cranston where officials are investigating after vandals went on a spree targeting a number of buildings, and that includes a church. The hateful language was discovered early this morning, and now we're learning this is not the first building to be vandalized in the city. Iowa News reporter Perry Russell is live in Cranston now with more from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Cranston police say the graffiti was first found this morning, and at this hour, they are still trying to find out who is responsible. Much of what was spray painted can't be shown or said on TV, but this woman tells us she felt the message's meanings. Well, it's a violation of our faith. She's a member of the Church of the Ascension on Pontiac Avenue. For somebody to put the sign of the devil on our, on our sign, it's a, it's a great insult. 666 was spray painted on the church's sign announcing their hours of worship. It's too bad to, uh, to disregard people's feelings like that. In all, Cranston police say the church is one of about a half dozen buildings tagged between Rolf Square and Pontiac Avenue, including the library, the post office, and the Toro Fraternal Association. This is a personal at attack, you know. It, 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 it hits me personally, being Jewish, and like I said, and just, you know, I, I wouldn't want this done in my neighborhood. The words and symbols spray painted range from dollar signs to racial slurs. Some have already been cleaned up. Most haven't. I wouldn't want the little kids to see this. It's difficult to explain to a little kid, you know, what is graffiti? You know, what does that mean, Mom? What does that mean, Dad? What would you like to say to the person who did that? I'd like to say, I'm sorry that you feel this way. And I hope God forgives you. We do. Cranston police may not be as forgiving. They did tell us they found a spray paint can that has been handed over to detectives. Live in Cranston with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.